The flesh came out of the skin. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The navy power. Welcome to the second episode of Guess Who. We'll be guessing who out of these five people are from the navy. Let's get started. Hi Ryan, do you consider yourself an adventurous person? Yes. Do you go on holidays often? Once every six months. Do you like water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather go in the water than stay out just because it's very hot. Do you have like a set schedule where you go and work out? Very religiously. Not how to get these guns, right? Hi Jessica. Do you like swimming? Love swimming. What's the most adventurous thing you've done? Mm -hmm. I went paragliding. How often do you go on holiday? Once or twice a year. So do you usually go on holidays like a set time of the year? No, it depends yes. on like my schedule. Thank you. Wow, you look like you love traveling. How often do you get to travel? Two or three times a year. Do you love swimming? I actually used to pro swim. You're a very fit person. I'm very curious if you're very adventurous. It's quite adrenaline. I do like to. Hi Audrey. I see you're in water. Something that previous participants also have photos in. For obvious reasons to trick me. Do you like swimming more or like cheerleading more? Cheerleading. How often can you like actually go and practice cheerleading? Two, three times a week. Do you travel a lot? Three, four times a year. Hi, Jeru. Do you love water? Yeah, I love water. I love swimming, going to the beach. Have you ever swim through like really rough waters? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes I do uh, surfing. How often do you go on holiday? Once in two months, once in three months. Once yeah. in. Because my work is in that nature, so like um, when we're done, we get to. Um, stay there and just roam around. I am the most suspicious about Jeru and Jay because he was a pro swimmer. It's something that would have made him choose to join the Navy because he can go through all the rough waters and everything well. Jeru travels while working. In the Navy, you travel on the waters and you dock somewhere and then you get a tiny holiday. That is actually very believable. Anytime you're ready, they'll start the timer. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> Why can't I be going to go on? And this is the best part that I don't know how to do. Tai, 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 tai. No, I was always excluded at birthday parties. No! What? You did it's not tired. No, no. Oh my god. Break the apple with my bare hands. Wow. Have you tried okay, it before? Yeah. Let's see this how it apples every day. There's gotta be an optimal point to break an apple, right? I think you just pull it from the core. Oh my god, oh my god. ASMR. Apple juice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Here I come. What is this, bro? What's this? <laughs> what the hair? What the hair? <laughs> <laughs> I don't say a bad word. They're going too fast. Oh, what is this? What is it? Slightly scarier. Huh? Am I getting I warmer or colder? Because all I feel is getting wetter. Ew. What is it wet? <laughs> what is this? This is strange. So <laughs> ah. It sounds damn like <laughs> weird lah. <laughs> it is moving. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> from the first to the second round. I thought three choices now are Jeru, Ryan and Audrey. She had that disciplined, responsible like image. For Ryan, all-rounder, fit, adventurous. My impression of what a Navy personnel is. Jeru was also a bit like Ryan, all-rounder-ish, sporting. First question, did you know how to swim before going into your job? <laughs> Do you have to leave your family for long periods of time? <laughs> Ryan, what's the longest period of time you have been away from your family? A month. It makes me a bit suspicious because I thought like the line of work would bring you away from your family a long period of time. But then again, it's my assumption also. Same question for Jessica. Six, seven months. That's quite long though. For the people who said yes, what's the longest period? Regularly about six months. One month plus. Eight months. Next question. Do you work on a regular time schedule? So from nine to six? Both of you are out already. Not in the Navy. But I'm quite sure that the Navy does not have regular working hours. What is the longest working hours did you have in 24 hours? 10? About 10? About 8. It was from 10 a.m. until 6 a.m. 10 a.m. Next question is, is there a special lingo that you use when you want to go to the toilet at work? 
special lingo meaning is something that only people who you work with will know it. Yeah, <laughs> For both of you, is it the whole department thing or a whole company thing? The latter. Yes. Including the boss or like the top. Yeah. So the next question is, have you been sent to beautiful places abroad for work? Okay, that means I'm going to push you down the ranks already. Have you changed your hairstyle in the past two years? Wait, so Jeru, is your hair always this short? It is to be long. So you recently cut it short? Not for work? <laughs> Audrey, why don't you change your hairstyle? I don't think I look good in anything else. Okay, I know already. Sorry, I really to make a guess. Yes! My final guess is... Audrey. Oh, yes! <laughs> when you're out at sea, do you get to communicate with your family and friends? My parents are generally more understanding, so I don't really need to mm. uh, give them a text or like 24-7 tell them, oh, I'm here, I'm fine. I will let them know, okay, I'll maybe take maybe five days to reach another area. Then when I reach the place, I will drop them a text and say, oh, I'm safe. But there is also Wi-Fi and satellite communications on board for us to stay connected with our families. So do you find yourself missing your family and friends very often? I do get homesick. Mm -hmm. like, uh, if I get to, if I have to go for long savings. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that was more of a motivation for me to mm. work hard mm. or to just focus on my work. Uh, and then when I come back, because of that, I really do appreciate my parents more. I appreciate my family a lot more. And wanting to spend more quality time with my family make me realise that home is good. Do you FOMO? When mm -hmm. friends go out, then you see that it's a story and you're like, oh. No, oh. Actually, I'm, actually, I'm quite grateful. My friends, they understand. Whenever they go out, they would, they would try. La. They would take a photo and say, okay, we are enjoying without you. <laughs> yeah, but at the end of the day, right, I will like give them a video call if I cannot make it or like I will give them a text or mm. when I meet them then they will catch up with me whatever that's happening. Some days it gets very very tiring. Mm. I mean as, as all jobs, mentally you have to always remember that why am I doing this? For the sake of protecting whatever is behind me, my the waters, the country and most importantly of course my family. Mm. Yeah. So I don't feel for more. What is one trait that Navy personnel have that that you have witnessed. Other than the fact that they are very supporting, they are also, they are not willing to give up that easy. They are very, very persistent in getting things done. Right? It's very encouraging to have such colleagues. We go through a lot of training to ensure you are competent in your job, to overcome all the different difficulties and uh, maybe even hiccups along the way. So you'll be very prepared for when you actually go out at sea. Mm. My impression of the Navy before I met Audrey, it was quite a narrow perspective. I assumed that they're always out at sea and they don't have time to spend with their families or friends. But I realised that, wow, like, work-life balance is such a big thing to her and it actually is something that she can get despite being in Navy. Thank you guys for watching our second episode of Guess Who? Oh,